Hello, Year 8s, and welcome to another NIST screencast. Today's topic is graphing, and specifically, we're going to talk about how to use spreadsheets and those that are found in Google Docs. The first thing you need to be mindful of is your data. You're going to have to collect your data, and as I understand, it's something that you wonder about. And you've also done already one type of graph, as an example, which involves the number of siblings that the students in your class have. Now I have opened up a spreadsheet and I've called it Year 8 Wonder Graph and I've put two columns. First column having the number of siblings with the labels 0, 1, 2, 3 and then a total and then the number of students with the corresponding data collected from a class in the year 2013. After you have your data, you now need to create a chart. Chart is just another word for graph, but it's the word that they tend to use in Excel and in Google. So please be mindful when you're making a chart, you should make sure it has a proper title, the axes are labeled, etc. So going back to the spreadsheet, I select my data and then I go insert and if I scroll down I know it's a little off the screen I believe it's right there I've adjusted the window now and if I go to insert you will see it says chart and now I have the chart editor screen if you want you can just go and insert and you will get a way to see your chart and you'll notice on the right here it gives you an example so if I click here it changes the format of the chart. You might want to continue and add a title or you get the choice here with the different kinds of charts and then you can customize. And this is where you can put in your chart title and for this particular chart I might say year eight siblings and then I can insert it and you now have a chart. Now for this chart I've done a number of things deliberately wrong. First of all, you'll notice that the total is here and you might not want that included. So what you can do is if you click on the little drop down here and you can go back to the advanced edit and I'm moving it back here and if you go back to the start you'll notice at least in this particular chart I've collected all of the data from A1 to B6. Instead of going down to B6, I really only want to go to B5, which will get rid of the sixth row with the total. And if I click OK, automatically I now have only the number of students. Now, we don't want just number of students. We'd rather have some of the data, and I'll look at the data again. These items here are labels. So if I click on switch rows and columns, now you notice that all of the labels appear on the side here. And you could change all of the colors. I'm not going to go into that right now, but there's many things that you can change. One item that you're definitely going to want to change is under customization, you're going to want to label one of the axes. So this is the vertical axes. So if you go to axes and left vertical, I would suggest the title would be uh, number of siblings. And when I press enter, you'll notice that it shows up here. I will now click update and you'll notice that the chart is ready to go. And that's where I'll leave it for now. You now can use a spreadsheet to create a chart that is labeled properly and is ready to be put into your blog post. Stay tuned for part two and we'll talk about how you can use live data in your blog post. Bye for now.